I have an Amazon store and I'll link that below. That is a compilation of all of the things that I have bought off Amazon that are the best of the best. I try things out so you don't have to buy things and go, oh, it's not exactly like I wanted. Everything that I mentioned in my favorites, I'm trying to remember to put over there. And I am also working with Amazon that they are going to create folders or categories or something. So if you're only interested in my book, so you're only interested in the food items or the health food things, that you can get just to that category and look at the jewelry or whatever and not have to look at weed through the rows of everything else. So hopefully in the next month or so they'll implement that for all of us and we can have that so it's a lot easier to use for you. Hi everyone, welcome to February Favorites. I have a lot to cover. So first of all, the very first thing was something Santa brought me and I'm loving is this foot buffer. It works amazing. It takes off all your calluses, it leaves your feet extremely smooth and Mark uses it also on his elbow. He has this one elbow, I guess, from sitting up on the car as he drives that gets exposed to the sun and it's very rough. He's used it on his knuckles, which get a little rough for some reason. Just any spot that is rough. And this is thanks to Lori, Trixie Girlism. She's the one who also shared about the Monistat gel, which I love as a primer. So, Lori, I know you don't have a channel, but thank you, girl, for giving me ideas for my channel. <laughs> The next thing is the Essence Princess Purple Mascara. This is thanks to Kathy's Beauty Care Chats and stay tuned, I have more about that sweet girl. But this Essence Princess Purple, I don't have any false lashes on today. It's so beautiful and long and I just love it. It's thick, it's lengthening, it is a phenomenal mascara. I like this better than the Jordana Best Lash. I don't know if I like it better than the CoverGirl. I'm going to be using that next so I can kind of have a back-to-back -back comparison of them. But I do love this Essence Princess Purple. It is amazing. The final buying item, I don't know if it's, it's not makeup, but I put the purchasing items uh, in this section, is a computer shelf. I wanted a shelf for my desk and I ended up buying one that I ended up giving to Mark. It is adjustable but it didn't go down as much as I needed. He was okay with it because he just has it sitting on his desk in his office to organize things and it lifts things up and it gives you another layer. So it worked perfectly for him. So then I bought myself my own and this one is lower and it's perfect for me. I wanted it for my monitor. Again, it lifts things up and I can put things in underneath. It's such a simple thing and yet it's added so much to my computer desk in making it organized. So I really love that. I've been appreciating this area I have in my kitchen that's my jungle as Mark calls it but it's all the plants and flowers. I have different plants and flowers around the house and in certain areas they don't thrive. They don't get as much light as they should. So I rotate them in and out of this area that is our jungle and they thrive in that area. I change it out. You'll see I have different pictures with hyacinth, with these gorgeous um, amarilla, no, what are they called? Somebody knows, leave it, but it's beautiful. My girlfriend sends them to me every Christmas and they bloom late. They're just amazing. Um, it's just so nice to have something that you nurture and that you have in your life that, I don't know, it's thriving. I see Mark over there and he'll, you know, be deadheading something or just, putzing with it in the morning as he's getting his juice and it's just a wonderful thing to have like I said something in your life that you're nurturing and to seeing it thriving to see things blooming I get these cute little hyacinths from Trader Joe's for under three dollars just love that whole area it really brings both of us a lot of joy the next thing I've been appreciating is exercising it has helped so much with my fibro and my lupus there's mornings when I get up and I am shuffling like an old lady and I can hardly move and I go downstairs and I exercise and I am mobile and I am back to being me. And I will be doing an update soon on my health. I am happy to say every day I feel better. I'm so grateful for this doctor I've found. I'm not vegan and I'm on a leaky gut protocol to help heal that and the combination of everything has helped me so much. I can't even tell you how good I feel. I didn't realize how bad I felt 
until some of these things have returned and I realize I have them back and I haven't felt that way in six, eight months. And I just feel really good. So I'm happy to say that, but the exercising has been a huge part of that. And that leads me to my next thing, which is Kathy's Beauty Care Chat. She's the influence in my exercising and I'm gonna link a video of hers below. If you're kind of not motivated to exercise, you watch this video. She will motivate you. She is amazing in making you want to do weights for losing weight and just everything she talks about. Kathy, if you don't follow her, you have to. First of all, she's from Texas. Did I mention that she's from Texas? <laughs> she is so cute. And when she says she wants to get on here today to talk to you about... What did she get on here today? What did she get on here today? What did she get on here today? She means it. She has so much passion and excitement for sharing her YouTube talk topic. She's on here because she loves YouTube. And she is an amazing person. What you see is what you get. She's a little dynamo. She has so much energy. I have picked up great tips so that Essence Princess Purple Mascara, the exercising, She's influenced me doing more of a dramatic eye. She does much more, and I love what she does, and I'm starting to take after her more and more in that. She's influenced me on my blending of my eyes and my face, as well as using a very tiny brush to go back and forth in here to accentuate your crease. Um, she's influenced my music. I was working out to books, and she's like, girl, no, you need some serious workout music and she's gotten me into that and she's so right you need to have some good music when you're working out um and then we've also talked a lot about you know everything life because we become such good friends but not being vegan bouncing ideas off of her of what to eat um what i don't want to you know go gorging on sugars and things so how do i proceed i mean it's new territory for me after two years. I'm allergic to so much and she's just been an amazing sounding board in all of this. I just love her personality, her energy, her vibrancy and like I said what you see is what you get. She has an amazing heart. She's got some passion and she's a little pistol and I love it. She's not afraid of saying what she thinks and I think she's just fabulous i just i can't recommend her enough so go over there and tell her that l said hi so i finished that fun afghan that i was doing that i showed you the stitch on and it went really quick and it was mindless it was just really easy but once you do the first three rows it goes super fast and that was exactly what i needed was to give myself the break from doing my sweater because then I got back to doing my sweater. And I haven't finished it yet, but I will have it finished soon. We're going on a holiday in March, so it may not be till after that. I don't think I'll take it with me because it's getting kind of bulky. But I'm doing the lapels up the front and I'm putting it together. I'm putting, gonna have to put the sleeves in. I am like on the home stretch and I'm really happy and I'm hoping it'll fit and look really cute when it's done. When it's we finished Wentworth. Wow. Oh, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't watched it. Watch it. It took us a while to get into it. Now we are so in love with it. I can't wait for the next season to come out. Season six, I think it is. Oh my goodness. The ending of season five. It was like, we were talking about it for days. We could, I could still bring it up and we could talk about it. I mean, it was so good. I love it. The acting is out of this world. It's a really good show. So thank you to all of you who recommended it. We then watched a movie, Hacksaw Ridge. Now this is a war movie, a true war movie. And it's gory, but wow, what a story. Some of you may have seen it in the movie theaters. It was so well told. I really, really enjoyed that. And then now we are watching Hell on Wheels, which is a very interesting story about the railroad being built. And they're trying to get it over the Rocky Mountains. It's about slaves. It's about so many things. And that time period, oh, the mud, the mud, the mud, it's everywhere. Um, but it's very well acted and very well told. We're only four episodes into it and we've really been enjoying it. 
for anyone who doesn't know, because I know I'm getting new subscribers all the time, Olivia is my niece who's 17 years old now. When she was 12, she was diagnosed with leukemia. She's cancer free. She's playing AAA hockey. She is an amazing kid and I'll put a playlist below, if, especially if you want to watch the Q&A with her. She does a phenomenal job and you get a sense of who she is. She's just Oh my goodness, I couldn't be more proud. But anyhow, last month I said she'd broken up with her boyfriend. Wouldn't you know it, she got back together with him. So, correction, and he's a really nice boy. We really like him. We met him when we were up in Victoria visiting my family last, last summer. And he's a really good kid. So I'm happy for her and hope that it works out. And she's busy playing hockey. Boy, when my, when my niece goes off to school, I don't know what my sister's going to do. She's going to be an empty nester, and her whole life has been Olivia, whether it was leukemia and then now getting back into the hockey. They spent five hours driving down to Vancouver and the ferry and everything, playing hockey there all weekend, coming back, doing the same thing the next weekend. She's going to have so much time on her hands when Olivia goes off to college. She won't know what to do with herself. And I'm going to do a video on empty nesting as well. So if you have any suggestions you want me to include of how to adapt to being an empty nester, let me know. But she, Olivia's doing great. She's a little stressed about getting into college, but she will do fine. And she bought a grad dress. She looks so beautiful. I think in this picture she looks a lot like Lady Di, because that's a Lady Di type of expression. She's going to get some of the crinoline taken out of that dress and obviously hemmed and I just think she's gonna look gorgeous uh, her grad isn't till June but she's just so beautiful and my heart is so full with her so thank you so much for watching as always I really appreciate your spending some time with me I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk to you next time